Hello, welcome to Van on Video. I'm Wayne Johnson and this is my van. It's a 77 Chevy G20. And the name I named it is the Santana Banana. Because it's yellow and it's made, it's converted by Santana Industries. Um, it's a 1977 and if you look right here, you can see the plate where it was done in um, Anaheim, California. And the van was made in um, January 77 and the original owner had it from 77 to 97 and then he ended up selling it for some reason and some guy from England bought it he had to travel he had to bring something from California to Florida so he bought the van just to travel with some cargo we don't know what it was but he had to bring it to Florida and then once he did that he moved back to England he just wanted the van just to bring something to Florida so that's how I got to Florida and then my friend JR, he got the van in 97 and he owned it for 20 years and I just got it two years ago. So I'm the third owner on it and it's from California. It's the original paint and um, Santana did all the conversion on it. This is all hand painted back in 77. And like I said, it's from California so there's no rust. It has a Venturi vent on the, on the roof. That was done back in 77 the bubble windows and then the former owner that had it put the UVO lights on it and I added the um, window louvers and I put the tail lights sideways like they do in California holes. yep um, the guy I got it from it had the, the um, what is it the um, spare tire I guess I had the spare tire rack on it and I guess they had the two holes there for the spare tire rack so he hid that and I think there's maybe a ladder here or something and he hid that with that so like I said it's the original paint so he kept it all original but it's got the original 350 in it just turned 88 original thousand miles on it um, I put the wheels on it. it had some suburban wheels on it I put the um the aluminum slots on it to give it the 77 look and here goes another thing, the RV thing, from when they converted it back in 77. That's still on it. And then uh, here goes inside. It has all the original interior in it. It's got the original shag, all the original panels, side panels and roof panels. And that's the um, back seat. It turns into a bed. That's all original. I just added, um, one of the things I wanted to do to it, it had the original steering wheel on it. I, wanted, I always wanted an octagon steering wheel. And um, I just added that recently, a couple months ago. And then it has an original 8-track player in it too. <laughs> it's pretty neat. But yeah, it's a real nice original shorty Chevy van from California pretty hard to find nowadays and I had my friend um, Alan Barge he put the eagle on the side of the, the van I got from Joe Madonna let me grab it real quick he um, added the eagle on it he added the porthole windows he put the Venturi vent he put the um, roof rack on it he even put the front California tag on it like this and the Chevy emblem and then he even put the little the little details the Santana little badge we looked at earlier, mm -hmm. he put that by the door. <laughs> nice. It's pretty cool. That came out really nice. Excellent. Yeah, keep it pretty much all original survivor van. I like it just how it is. It's maintain it. Just drops down probably. Yeah, that drops down no bed. Um, I took it last year to the freeze straw and slept in it, and that turns into a bed. Then I'll show you the engine if you want to see the engine. Actually, before we see the engine, this is the original plate it had when it was brand new. You can see 98. That was the thing. It drove over from 97, so before it expired. And that's the original plate for the van, so I put that on the front of it to show it's California. Look, all the chrome is nice, the grill's nice, it's all original. All, all original to the van. Let me pop the hood on it. Runs really good. It's got the original 350 in it. Um, it's got a four barrel 
got the Edelbrock in it. The former owner put that on there, an air cleaner. Um, it originally came with AC, but the belt's missing, and it has all the all the options from when it came with. And it drives really good. It's a great driver. It drives nice on the road. I just drove it about 60, 70 miles from Orlando to the Daytona, driving around 70 miles an hour. Cruises down the highway nice.